Some niche fragrances in the States can cost anywhere from like 250 to 400 and even 500, 600 bucks. There are a couple of Middle Eastern brands that are slept on and they're much less expensive, but smell more expensive. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatic. So today's kind of just an impromptu video. I didn't really plan anything, but uh, I had this Ibrahim Al Qurashi Sapphire Leather sitting here and I decided, you know what? Let me come on. I don't have much to say about Sapphire Leather, but you're going to want to hear what I do have to say about it. And let me just talk about some of the ones that I already have experiences with. So the first one I want to talk about is the one that I held up and this is called Sapphire Leather. All of these are from the house of Ibrahim Al Qurashi. Sapphire Leather basically smells like ombre leather by Tom Ford. I mean, I wanted to say fitting image, but genuinely this is better. It's better because the scent profile is thicker, it's denser, and it lasts much longer. If you want projection, you want sillage, you want best bang for buck while being cheaper than the original, this is it, man. The bottle and stuff, it's not really much to like, you know, run home about. The cap is plastic, but the trade-off is absolutely worth it. It's Tom Ford's ombre leather so freaking strong straight up leather vibes a great fragrance so really not much more to say about it if you know what ombre leather smells like it's like this super dense rich leather fragrance with a tonka bean base that's what it smells like and this is exactly that beast molded out steroids citrine amber from the same collection this one's pretty different i don't you know think that this one smells like anything else it's very unique and it was actually attention getting for me personally the first time i sniffed this one i found that this was very unusual. Citruses and ambers with like hints of sweetness. What mostly dominates this fragrance is obviously going to be the ambers, but also the citruses. I'm getting like this leather undertone and pretty good dose of aromatics as well. So it's an aromatic amber citrus fragrance. That's essentially what this is. It smells really freaking good and extremely strong. Citrine amber. The next one I want to talk about is called Blue Root. This is just beastly stuff. This is that ombre nomad vibe. Well, if you took away the raspberry completely, this is what you get. A cheaper, monstrous version of just straight up inky oud. Yep, yeah, you heard me right. It's medicinal, it's animalic, but it's animalic in the inky way. Think of ballpoint pens, the ink. That's what this smells like. It's something, you know, it's pretty nostalgic and addicting actually. If you like oud-based fragrances, you're gonna absolutely love this one. If you like ombre nomad, this is that without the raspberry. Although I do have to admit that the raspberry edition is a little bit better in my opinion. This one's just straight up oud. Ladies and gentlemen, you can rock this one you can layer it you can do a lot of things with it the next one is a love of mine blueberry musk blueberry musk oh my god man this is like vanilla syrup drowned blueberries that's essentially what this is last forever pretty unisex in my opinion it smells like it might have some peppers in there as well but that's basically what this is it's like mashed up blueberries and vanilla syrup simple as that so sexy the next one we're going to talk about is raspberry musk i don't really like this one to be honest it's pretty feminine, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Ladies, it smells like florals, raspberry, maybe hints of vanilla, but it's not the star player here. Whereas that one was sweet and playful and jammy. This one's just straight up like raspberry and florals and bright. So distinctively feminine raspberry musk. Not a bad smelling fragrance, but I wasn't really expecting that, especially after the blueberry musk. So now we're down to the tobaccos. I've reviewed these fully, but this one smells Pretty strange, pretty unique, pretty different. It's got like these Mega Mare vibes without actually having any suede in here. It's like this fresh citrus, ambroxan, saffron. It's aquatic, but it also has like this uh, light blonde tobacco. I don't really pick up anything other than like this super blue vibe. Saffron, aquatic notes, and the tobacco. Strange, unusual but it's good. It's a beast mode fresher. You really have to be careful with this one because you can go nose blind to it for sure. Next one is called Dominican Tobacco. This is probably one of my favorites. It has a very distinctive orchid note though. And if you don't really like the note of orchid, it's going to turn you off and it just really gets stronger and stronger and stronger. It just smells like a super fatty, rich, borderline jammy type of floral nuance. It's not going to go jammy in the nature of like, you know, fruits or anything like that, but it's just a super rich orchid petal essentially is what that smells like along with all of those earthy nuances and the very distinctive tobacco accord as well. Very earthy, pungent, and strong, very strong. Next up is Jamaican tobacco. And while this one might not be my favorite, it smells like tobacco, some peppers, and something animalic in here as well. But this would be probably one of my least picks for the whole tobacco vibe. I really don't have much to say about this fragrance other than the fact that it's a pretty spicy tobacco-based fragrance. But Jamaican tobacco out of all the tobaccos would not be my top pick. There is Cuban tobacco as well, and it's the earthiest of all of them. It's like soil and tobacco. I didn't pick that one up and Mexican tobacco I, I have not gotten my nose on it but to end the video we're gonna do one that I was a little disappointed with and it's called which basically means sandalwood and this 
I was expecting exactly that. Sandalwood, premium cap, snaps on a place, pretty serious. It doesn't play games, holy smokes. But this is mostly a rose fragrance, man. It's like straight up rose and sandalwood, but I wasn't expecting this much rose. I mean, I should have probably, you know, guessed it with the color of the bottle, but I was really expecting sandalwood, as the name says, wood of sandalwood, literally translated, but no, it's mostly rose and sandalwood, extremely feminine. So gentlemen, I personally would not recommend picking this one up. There you go. That's pretty much all of the Ibrahim Al Qurashi that I've worn so far. I've still got quite a few of the musk collections. I do also have Oud Al Hail, which basically means Oud of cardamom, etc. but not bad, not bad. I do plan on picking up a couple more of their fragrances. I know they have a new diamond collection. If I had to pick out of all of these, like the most, you know, the top fragrances in my collection, Blue Oud for what it's doing, is amazing but for my enjoyment it's definitely going to be blueberry musk if you like leather fragrances sapphire leather and honestly citrine amber is slept on it's different it's got like this leather undertone some ambers aromatics and some of those citruses and peppers it's not a citrus fragrance in the terms of like a freshy it's really grounded by this amber leathery aromatic undertone to it all and out of all of the tobacco series although i'm not crazy about any of them really i do enjoy them i have to say that Dominican tobacco is the one that does it the most for me. Something about that pungency, the floral pungency really attracts me to it as well. The Freshie is very unique. I think all of these fragrances are pretty unique, except for obviously Sapphire Leather, but Sapphire Leather is worth having just for the fact that it does the, the DNA better than the original. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and until the next video, more Ibrahim Al-Qurashi, more Abdul Samad Al-Qurashi, and all that good stuff. Peace.